Five students go to a restaurant to eat. Each of them only buys one unit of one kind of food. The restaurant sells only three kinds of food, namely fries, burger, and chicken. How many different orders can they place? Hi guys, I am Infi. Welcome to Infamax. In this video, I'm going to talk about combinatorics. We will see the solution of the problem you saw at the beginning of this video later on. First, I'm going to talk about the combination, then combinations with repetitions. At the end of this video, I will give you an example of each type of counting, including the problem at the beginning of this video. But before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your comments below. Alright now, without any further ado, let's hit the road. The third type of counting is called combination. Again, suppose that we have five balls in a basket. We're going to take three of them, but unlike in the arrangement or in permutation, we take these three balls at once. In how many ways can we do that? Suppose that we withdraw these three balls, because they are taken at once, so the others are not important, and they are taken without returns, so repetition is not allowed. Although the three balls are taken at once, to see how many ways this can be done, we have to consider taking these three balls one by one without returns, just like in permutation. But then we just ignore the order of these three balls taken. Withdrawing three balls out of five one by one without returns, just like in permutation, there are P, five, three ways to do that. Now, then we ignore the orders of the balls. Here are the possible orders of the three balls. So, there are six possible orders, which is the same as permutation, P, 3, 3, which equals to 3 factorial. By ignoring the orders of 3 balls, it means that we have to divide P, 5, 3 by 3 factorial. So, we get 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Now, since the orders do not matter, so we can see these five balls as three balls selected and the other two balls not selected. It means that we don't make any difference between this and this. They are the same, but they are different from this. and also different from this and this these five correspondence to the balls this three correspondence to the three balls selected and this correspondence to the two not selected balls so the numbers of ways taking three balls from five at once that is orders are not important and repetition is not allowed, is 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. That is the same as P, 5, 3 over 3 factorial, which is the same 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. 
This is the denoted by C53. And as you can see, this equals to C52. In general, selecting K balls from N balls at once without returns, there are C and K ways. That is N factorial over K factorial times N minus K factorial. And by interchanging the places, it is the same as C and N minus K. C and K is also commonly denoted like this. We say N choose K. The fourth type of counting is combination with repetition. We will use the same example of five balls in the basket again. This is so that you can see the differences between these four types of counting. We are going to take three of them, one by one, and similar to the combination, we will ignore the orders, but this time with replacement. We use this term here instead of returns. In how many ways can we do that? When we throw the first ball, suppose that is the ball A, we do not return it, but instead we replace it with another A ball. Then we withdraw the second ball, suppose that is the ball B. Similarly, we replace it with another B ball. Then we withdraw the third ball. It can be another ball, say E. But it can also be a ball A. But for this last withdrawal, we do not replace it because we are done. So as you can see here, A can be repeated. Repetition is allowed. Now, we have 4 balls in the basket plus 3 balls selected. So there are 7 balls. This is the original 5 balls plus 2 replacement balls. The 2 replacement balls is 3 balls selected minus 1. That is the last withdrawal without replacement. Then we ignore the orders of the 3 selected balls. Then this now becomes a combination problem, namely select 3, but now here out of 7 balls. So the numbers of possibilities to do this is 7 factorial over 4 factorial times 3 factorial. So this is the number of ways we select 3 balls of 5 balls with repetition. This is the same as the number of balls plus the number of selected balls minus 1 factorial over the selected balls factorial and the remaining factorial that is 7 choose 3. So in general, the number of ways we select K balls from N balls with repetition is N plus K minus 1 choose K. Example Suppose there are 8 singers which have reached the semi-final of a singing contest. 3 of them will advance to the final. How many different finalists are there? An example of the finalist is A, C, D. Another example is B, F, G. So it does not matter B, F, G or F, G, B, or G, F, B. We are not interested in who have the higher score, who the second, and who's the third. What count is only the three highest score advanced to the final? So, the order of the finalists is not important. Here, it is impossible that a contestant takes two positions in the final. Therefore, repetition is not allowed, so this is a combination problem. Therefore, the answer to the question is C8-3, which equals to 8 choose 3. That is, 8 factorial over 3 factorial over 5 factorial. 
Example, five students go to a restaurant to eat. Each of them only buys one unit of one kind of food. The restaurant sells only three kinds of food, namely fries, burger, and chicken. How many different orders can they place? Now let's do it like this. This is the fries column. This is the burger column. And this is the chicken column. They're separated by two bars. An example of order is one fries, two burgers, and two chickens. Then we put like this. One here, two here, and two here. Another example is no fries, one burger, and four chickens. Then we put like this, zero, one, and four. This means that one fries, three burgers, and one chicken. So how many possible orders are there? Now, if we convert these two bars to be ones, then this problem is transformed in a combination problem, which is choose 5 from 7. Note that 7 is 5 plus 3 minus 1. That is C7, 5, which equals 2, 7 over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. That is 7 choose 5. We sum up these four types of counting. Here, we are dealing with a collection of n distinct objects, and we select k of them. 1. If order is relevant and repetitions are allowed, then this is the type of arrangement. The formula is n to the power k, where 0 is at most k and n. 2. If order is relevant and repetitions are not allowed, then this is the type of permutation. The formula is P n k, which is n factorial over n minus k factorial, where 0 is at most k at most n. 3. If order is not relevant and repetitions are not allowed, then this is the type of combination. The formula is C and K, which is N factorial over K factorial times N minus K factorial, also denoted as N choose K, where 0 is at most K at most N. If order is not relevant and repetitions are allowed, then this is the type of combination with repetition. The formula is C n plus k minus 1 k or the same as n plus k minus 1 choose k where 0 is at most k and n. That's all for now guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and understand the video. Thank you for watching. More videos are coming. Bye now. Stay healthy.